Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another spring tutorial, this time for, for colorful flowers seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step, so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more beautiful absolutely free tutorials like this thank to all of you that like share and comment this is an amazing amazing support for me share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my facebook page that you will see posted below as well and in description you will see a full list of materials other useful resources and also you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member because a lot of time and work goes in these videos and the membership comes with perks that you could also check in the link in description thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this colorful spring project are five colors of 11 o seed beads i use white light green green pink and red here I'm also using regular earring findings, you could use others of your choice. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to do first is to pick up those beautiful white beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then just to be sure it's all nice and tight I make one more knot like this okay then what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and now I'm going to take a white bead, three light green beads and a white bead. I skip one bead and I go through the following. And I'm going to take again one white bead, three green beads and one white bead. I skip one and I go through the following. Okay, then I take five again skip one and go through the following okay and this skip one and go through the following okay now i have this beautiful shape now what I want to do guys is go through this white and through this light green. Okay, I'm exiting out of this light green here and what I need to take is a light green, three greens and a light green. And I skip the one that is sticking out the most and I go through the following. Okay, and now I exit here from this green bead, you see where my thread is. And I take a pink, a red and a pink. And I go here in the first green bead. You see where I'm going. Then what I do is that I pull. And I take one light green, three dark greens and one light green. Skip one and go through the following. Then pink, red, pink. 
go in the green one here. Again, the same sequence of five. Skip this central one here at the top, just like this. Pink, red, pink. The familiar sequence of five. Skip one and go through the following. Okay, and I need three. And now what I want to do, guys, is that I want to go through this first pink, uh, first light green counting from the center. Don't make the mistake to go through the next light green. Okay, now don't worry that it bends at this stage, we'll fix it later. So what I want to do next, guys, is exit here at the end of the dark green beads. Okay, I'm here after these three dark greens. And I want to take two green beads, dark green beads, and one pink. And I'm going in the red one here. Then again, a pink and two dark greens. And I go like this. Two dark green and a pink go in the central red one. And then a pink and two dark greens, so it's the other way around. Okay. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now as I'm here guys, what I want to take are three pink beads and I skip the one that's on my way and I go through all of those green beads. And here I need to add three green beads and go through the following three. three pinks and go through the following three three dark greens go through the following three and I will continue this until the end Okay guys, and after I finish this, I need to add an additional touch, okay? I go here, exiting, I'm exiting out of this bead that is next to the angle bead, and I take three pink beads here, and as I'm exiting from this one, I skip the angle one, and I go through the following. And I'm going to repeat this at all the angles. Okay, I take three and I go here.
I think you got the idea. I'm going to repeat this here and here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I just added my last three pink beads from this row. And I want to go through the next two pink beads. And I'm going to take the following sequence, a white, a light green, a green, a red, a pink and a red, a dark green, a light green and a white. Okay, this is the sequence I'm going to be taking all the time. And as I'm exiting from this pink bead, I want to go in the next pink that is sticking out. Okay, and I have this same sequence here. And I go in the next pink and I take this sequence and I go like this. Okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last sequence. I pull like this. And don't worry again that it bends at this stage. Now what I want to do is go through these three beads. A white, a light green and a dark green. Two dark greens and a red one. And I go through the pink in the center. Then I take the other way around a red and two dark greens and I go through the dark green and through the light green and pull. Take two red beads and go in the next light green and dark green. and pull and I take two dark greens and a red and I go here in the pink one the other way around a red and two dark greens go through the following two beads Two reds, light green and dark green, two greens and a red, one red and two greens, and two red beads. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. If, if you forget how I'm doing this, just rewind the video from here and repeat those steps from this side and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two red beads from this row. And I'm adding them at the same place in this light green. And I pull. Then I want to exit out of this green bead here at the end. Take three green beads and go in the next three just like this. Then I go in the following two and I take a pink, a white and a pink. And I go back in circle just like this. Then I want to go one more time through this pink one you see where. And I take three more pink beads. Go in this direction and in this way I formed a flower. Okay, then I want to reach here at the end 
three green beads go through all of those like this then through the reds pink white pink go back through those three those two red beads one more time in the pink three pink beads and go in the next pink just like this then in this direction and exit out of those green beads here three greens go through all of those in this direction go through the two red beads pink white pink go backwards through one of the pinks three pink beads go like this and like this okay and i'm going to continue this here add three here form a flower here add three here form a flower and when i'm up to this point i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last flower where i'm adding my last three beads from this row Okay, I'm going in this direction and now guys it's time to add my earring finding and I want to add it here at this flower uh, which is at the edge of my square in the center okay so how I do this first I need to reach this flower I'm going here at this pink bead that is sticking out the most and then I take two green beads my earring finding and two green beads and I go back here through this bead at the top okay like this now what I want to do is to reinforce this joint Okay, and now I'm here and what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I make a loop I go twice through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through one or two beads in this direction and I cut my thread
And now guys, my colorful spring seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. And you help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting. Your support is amazing. Check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks, a free course of 5 videos and other perks that you could check in description. Thank you for staying with me here until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.